Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Sasha Reed, and today I wanted to share with you some of my design team projects. Um, I've been a bit slow lately. <laughs> it's been a bit crazy busy and manic and we're off to Canada in two weeks and so there's been a lot of preparation for that going on. Um, yeah, it's just been a bit busy. But anyways, I wanted to share with you some quick, simple, easy, um, fun, creative stamping card making. So this is all we're going to use today and some watercolour card. So all we've got is some stamp sets and then some of Alina's sequins. Um, so I've got all these colours. I've got a few more colours in my office. These are the glitter sequins and then these are just the flat, um, flat sequins like that. Um, these glitter sequins are probably my favourite sequins in her shop. I keep telling Alina all about how much I love them. They are my absolute favourite. They are very glittery. Now one thing I'm going to point out now, because I will forget by the time I get going, is that there is a right and a wrong side if you're going to glue these down. So if you look at my hand, um, can you see that that one on that side is a bit dull and bland? And that one's quite sparkly. So there's a right and a wrong side. So you get really, really, really sparkly and shiny on one side. These I love. They have a tiny, tiny hole in them. But they are flat, completely flat, and very glittery. So these sequins I can highly recommend. They also have, she like, these sequins of hers are really vibrant in colour as well. So you've got this sort of fuchsia pink. Um, and then you've got like the deep teal blue, but then you also have the light teal and then sort of the light fuchsia colour. Um, sorry, the glare on this, on my light isn't very good. And then you've got gold, you've got silver, um, and then there's a few other colours as well. I think there's some purples, but these are my favourite sequins and they are well worth getting. So that's kind of the size that you get. You get a decent amount in there. There's quite a few. I love them. Absolutely love them. Right, and then the, the stamp sets we use today um, is this one. I'm going to zoom in. So, let's just see here. Um, so we've got this one, which says Smile and Friends. There's matching dies for this as well, but I haven't got them. And then we're also using this one. I've used the two bags from this kind of shopping set. I'm really sorry about the glare. Um, and then these Happy Mail stamps. They're really sweet. I've used them in my uh, video. Actually, just one of those and then I think I might have used something from this one. I can't remember. But these are the new release stamp sets. I love the fact that there's like a pig shot. It's quite fun. Then I've also used my Arteza um, watercolour paint. Um, so some of you have been seeing that I've done some reviews on Arteza. They gifted me a few things to try out and to review for them. And I've just been going crazy with the things I love and been using it a lot. So this is their watercolour set. This is $9.99, I think, or £9. I'll put everything um, linked below, all the sequins, all the stamp sets. Um, I'll link the, the card that I use and I'll link these below. Uh, but Arteza have asked me to review stuff and I've, I've really, really loved these. You can see I've gone through a lot of them, but I've worked out only recently. I really don't need to use so much. Um, and I'll show you on my cards... I've really not had to use much at all, but I've been going a bit crazy with them, and you can tell which ones are my favourite colours because there's hardly anything left in them. Um, but I've just used them too harshly, I should say. Um, yeah, you don't need much. But anyways, moving on. I talk too much. I also use this Arteza watercolour cardstock. Now this is the stuff I said they were going to send me. It's really thick. It's 300 GSM or 140 pounds, so really, really, really thick watercolour card, like proper thick, and it's really nice, so I've been using a lot of this as well. You get two in each pack, um, you get 32 sheets, so you get 64 all together, and I think it was somewhere around the 20 pound mark, and I've really, really liked this. This is 9 by 12 inches, you can get them all different sizes, and I've just been cutting this up and using it on my cards. So. Oh, I forgot that stamp set. <laughs> I will link this stamp set below. I didn't bring that one in. Rubbish. Um, so this I will link below. So just look at the one that says high heels. Um, this is a high heel stamp set or stiletto stamp set. 
and I finally got around to using it. Now it's really hard to tell, but I did use purple. Can you see the purple? Um, so it's multi-step stamping. So I found you do need like a stamping tool to do this. I've backed it with gold, um, but you will need a stamping tool for it because of lining them all up, but it looks quite cool when it's all done. So I've just used some Stampin' Up! Vanilla um, thick card stock for my base, and then I've lined it with some gold. And this is my watercolor paper. Now how I did that was I took my watercolors. I'll try and describe it. If you'd like me to do a little video on it, then I might do. And then just kind of link it as well. Um, but I took my watercolors. I took a big pot of water. I have a spray bottle with some water in it. Um, and then just a bit of plastic. So you can use a Ziploc bag or you can use um, a piece of... What is that stuff called for shaker cards? The clear acetate. Um, anything that's water resistant, um, like any kind of plastic you can use. And all I did was I just got my paintbrush really wet, picked up a little bit of the color because you didn't need much. And then I just kind of sloshed it around on this plastic. And I did that with however many colors I wanted, wherever I wanted them to go. And then I spritzed my watercolor paper with the water and got it a bit damp. And then I sprayed my my paint that I've already laid out on there and then I just took a piece of my cardstock and I just laid it on top and then just kind of let it scoosh around in there for a second pulls it off and then let it dry and then I cut it up into the size that I wanted so this is pink and purple on the background and that's how I did that and then I did this one which is smile I'll zoom in again a bit and this is the pink and purple again. So this was, I think this was layer number one. And then this was the second time without re-coloring it. Now I don't know if it's picking up as much color as there is. There's quite a bit of color. And you get this kind of like texture to it where the water is kind of moved around. Um, and I made these for some of my giveaways because I've had a few giveaways coming up. And I just thought I need some cards that are nice and flat that can fit in the mail that aren't too expensive to post because I want to be able to spend the majority of the money on this stuff I'm sending out. So I put little shopping bags on here because it's like you're getting free shopping when I send you some goodies. Um, there's the glitter sequins that I've put on. You can see them sparkling. And I backed this with gold and it's on again Stampin' Up! Vanilla cardstock. Um, and then with the smile what I did was I used some Tim Holtz um, distress, distress Oxide. I stamped the word smile and then I did it but I stamped it slightly off and then I did the black in the center and the reason I did it that way around was because the distress socks I can't say it, distress oxides will cover up the black so I did them that color first and then the black on top the rest of them I've done um, just normal like I've done the black at first and then the color next um, so that's my little crafty card then I did this smile card, so this was using quite a bit of colour, but again, like I just swooshed my paintbrush around in that paint for like a second, and then dubbed it on and added water as well, and you get quite a lot of colour. And I just love the sort of natural look. And then I went to town with the glitter um, sequins on this one. And then this is again the smile, and if you look close, can you see the purple? So I did smile in black, and then I did it in purple. And it's quite difficult to kind of get a 100% crystal clear image just because it's really bumpy paper. It's watercolour paper, so it was really difficult. But I used a stamping platform on every single card so that I could stamp it multiple times on top of the same spot. That's in that one. And then I really like how this one turned out. This is blue and green, so you get like a teal when they mix together. And then I just stamped some envelopes along the bottom and this is backed with silver card and then white card base from Stampin' Up! and again I did the same with friend now this one in the stamp set it comes as friends with an S on the end and I cut the S off so I just kind of chopped it <laughs> because I wanted to just say friend and I can always attach the S onto my stamping block if I want to use friends so I did friend um, and then I put the cute sentiment on, and then I used some coordinating glitter um, sequins, which I really love. Oh, this isn't silver, sorry, it's blue. <laughs> blue mirror card. <laughs> um, and I used like an ink that kind of matched that blue there. But this is the watercolour background again. 
And then I love this one. So this one is the same thing. I took the friend stamp set without the other bit on it. And then I used the little heart from this set here. There's that little heart. So I used that heart and stamped around. And then I added silver and blue sequins. And I've got silver foil card in the background. Um, but I love how these turned out and I love the watercolour look and I feel dead proud of myself that I did all that myself. So those are my quick and easy cards. They are so cheap to make these ones because all you need is one of these watercolour palettes. This will last you a really long time if you actually use it properly <laughs> and don't burn through it like me. I was just using absolutely tons of colour. But they will last you a long time and I'm really impressed with the Arteza one. The ink pigment and colour from it are brilliant and I, like I've just been using it probably every other day. I've been having a lot of fun. Um, and the watercolour paper, I'm not an expert at watercolour paper, I don't know what you're meant to get from it but I thought these looked pretty stunning so I think the watercolour paper is quite nice as well to be honest. Um, but there's my cards, I'm dead chuffed with myself and if you've um, won a prize from me, um, not a prize, a giveaway then you will probably get in one of these cards. <laughs> um, but yes, please do pop on over to my Facebook page because I do giveaways on there as well. And um, make sure you like and subscribe. Click the bell if you want notifications from me when I've posted a new video. And I will still be filming from Canada. So please do stay tuned all summer because hopefully I will be showing you some cool stuff. So thanks for joining me and have a great day. Bye.